Everyone, welcome Rebecca to the Mari Show. And we're going to applaud again because Rebecca proudly served our country in Afghanistan in the Army. Now, Rebecca admits. Rebecca admits she saw things during her tour of duty that made her return to civilian life a very painful one. I saw things, and I was, uh, I was heartbroken, and I was broken pretty much and whole. When I got home, I just, uh, I didn't have any trust in my heart for anyone. But it was her relationship with a man named Kamal that helped her beat the demons of war. I enlisted in the army at 25 years old. At that point in my life, it was something very important to me that I wanted to be a part of. I proudly fought for this country when I did a six-month tour in Kuwait and Afghanistan. I saw things over there that broke my heart, broke me down. I began to live every day in constant fear. It was meeting my boyfriend, Kamal, and giving birth to my son that brought peace to my life again. But as soon as that happiness came, it was pulled right away from me. Not only do I think Kamal is cheating on me, but I believe he's using me for my benefits. <laughs> I am angry. I'm hurt and I'm betrayed. I got him texting on Facebook Messenger with a female he slept with before he met me. He makes me feel stupid, he makes me feel useless, and he makes me feel crazy. I have fought the enemy in battle, but today I am fighting for the truth. You think he's messing around on you? I have reason to believe he has stepped out on me on numerous occasions. Why? What? Oh, from, wh from what? He actually confessed this to me. He is open about certain things. Like when a woman is hitting on him or he's, she's giving him the eye, whatever, he'll come back and tell me. Really? He, yeah. He had a job interview. I, I don't think I would do that. Crazy. <laughs> you he crazy. He had a job interview at a restaurant. Your and mind. Uh, there, was a, there was a manager that did, did his interview. You he are came crazy. Back, he came back and told me that she told him that you're hired, and by the way, the girls give fellatio in the back of the in the back. Lost your mind. You don't lost your so, mind. I think he was fooling around with any of the uh, any of no, the employees. No, no, no. Crazy. Okay, smart. and then there was a conversation online. What was that all about? Something prompted me to check out his Facebook, and there was a conversation. Granted, we were on the verge of a breakup. He asked me repeatedly, are we through? I are admitted we through? it already. I said yes. I asked you three times. I asked you, was we going to be together? I went to bed. He got on Facebook Messenger. I found the conversation. He told her, I still love you. I still hold the light for you. You were the perfect girl for me. Basically, all the things that he told me when we first started dating. Because you crazy. I'll be crazy. That's what he thinks. He thinks you're nuts. And I have no choice but to react that way when I see certain things and all he does is brush it off, whatever. No, it's not whatever. I was cleaning my kitchen one day and I looked down, I picked up a kitchen towel. There are so many items or so many meals, substances, whatever, that could give this hard, colorless, odorless consistency on a kitchen towel about that much. Because he said the Liquidy. towel was the smoothie. I looked behind my toilet and mind you, he's not a chronic anything. He relieves himself when I'm on whatever I'm on. I beat that. Can... Yeah. 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 I beat that. As you can admit it. Be my. It don't mean money. Yeah. Uh -huh. Make you look foolish mm -hmm. like that. But anyway, whatever. So I find another towel behind the toilet, and it's got that same colorless, odorless substance. Everybody, here's Kamal. Kamal, you, you blame a lot of what she's going through on her post-traumatic stress. Yes, sir. I've lost five jobs. I've been accused of having sex with the manager in the freezer um, in the middle of the lunch rush. Mind you, I was pregnant at the time, so I keep calling back. I really need to speak to him. I really need to speak to him. When I'm at work, you shouldn't be calling my job. A couple hours later, when I'm at I work, call you shouldn't be calling asked, my job. I call and I asked to speak to the manager. They said, well, we're really busy right now. I said, you know what, if you don't put the manager on right now, he won't have a job tomorrow. He finally gives the phone to Kamal. I said, 
leave there right now. To me, this is the worst accusation that you are using her and her benefits for the caretaker program for your own use. Maury, she thinks everybody's using her. You all have a son together. Yes, we, we do. We have a beautiful yes, baby boy. Yes, yes. I, I, I want to raise my sons in a certain way where they don't see uh, arguments in the home and, and things that go on. And I, I try to instill that, but it's very hard with her, with her acting out every five minutes of the day. If you weren't calling me a stupid bitch and a stupid hoe whenever I did something that displeased you or, or rubbed you the wrong way or I didn't do or jump when you wanted me to, I probably wouldn't doubt you nearly as much as I do. Rebecca, yes, sir. all your suspicions, all your questions are going to be answered right now. Okay. <laughs> While in a relationship with Rebecca, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with the manager at your old job? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Did the stained towel that Rebecca found in your home Come from you having sexual contact of any kind with another woman. You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Are you serious? Yogurt! Are you serious? We found my yogurt here. Is that possible? Oh. Are you using Rebecca for financial gain from her veterans' benefits? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. I get my money. I get my money. While in a relationship with Rebecca. Have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get this in my name? What's up? Ralph. Every question on my test, this man is a good man. And as far as that towel, it was really yogurt. <laughs> We'll be back right after this. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's time to tell the truth. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more lie detector results. And click here for more videos.